what's the best headset to play Beat Saber on? It's a question as old as time in the Beat Saber community, and while everyone may have their opinions, what these opinions is actually lacking is science. Yes, science! To work out the best VR headset, we need to take a scientific approach to confirm the hypothesis. So today, I'll be playing Beat Saber on every VR headset and variant, well, the popular ones, and tracking all the data to form an answer. But to do that, we need a control subject. Basically, one song I play on every headset three times to keep the data consistent. And that song will be Firestarter by Tenga on Expert Plus. First up, we have my main VR headset, the Big Screen Beyond. I absolutely love this headset because it's super Super tiny and comfy and the resolution of it is really great. It's also a Steam VR headset so it needs a gaming PC to run it and it also uses external lighthouse tracking to track the controllers which in theory should give you better accuracy. But what were the results? To be honest, I was a little surprised by these results. I really thought I would have scored higher. I'm going to assume that maybe I needed to warm up a bit more or maybe there are other factors, but the results were interesting nonetheless. Now on the other end of the scale, we have the PlayStation VR 2. And I had to dust this thing off before I could use it. It's definitely not my preferred headset and the data does back that up. The controllers on this headset are quite big and clunky and don't make an enjoyable experience to play with Beat Saber. It definitely takes away a lot of the movement that you need for high level play and on each playthrough I scored pretty low. Next up, we have the Ye old Faithful Quest 2. This headset is probably the most commonly used headset for Beat Saber, and it uses inside-out tracking, which means it uses the cameras on the front of the headset to track the controllers. So there can be a lot of variables that affect this, like the amount of sunlight, or mirrors in a room, or even fairy light. But not gonna lie, after putting on the Quest 2 headset, after using the Quest 3 for the last couple of weeks, it felt like someone had rubbed Vaseline on the lenses. There's definitely a big difference between the lens quality on this and the Quest 3, so I'm definitely appreciating the optics upgrade on the Quest 3 and it makes it really hard to go back. But what were the results? The Quest 2 results were okay. They weren't too surprising really, but they were a bit better than I thought. I generally don't like the Quest 2 controllers. I find them quite uncomfortable, so generally don't enjoy playing on the Quest 2 at all. In terms of tracking and scoring, it goes all right. Before we get into the rest of the video, first we need to take on a science experiment. What happens if you take the hero shooter genre, then turn it into VR, and then make it free? What? That's right, today's video is sponsored by X8. And if you haven't tried this game yet, you're seriously missing out. X8 is a free-to-play multiplayer hero shooter, and if you're familiar with games like Valorant or CSGO, you're probably gonna love this game. The gameplay involves choosing a hero, which all have different abilities and skills, and once you load into the game, you can buy your loadout, including weapons, turrets, and armor. You play a 5v5 demolition mode, so the goal is to either defend or attack the objectives by placing a siphon, which counts down to win the round. Or you have to defuse it if you're in the defending team. There's lots of different tactics you can use and your hero has different abilities that you can utilize for greater advantage. And to commemorate the official release, X8 are launching a limited edition Founders Pack with some really cool weapon skins. I've been so impressed with this game. It's very polished and the gunplay feels great, but don't take my word for it. Take the word of the almost flawless five-star rating on the Quest store. X8 is now officially out on the Quest and the Steam store and it's completely free. So you have nothing to lose. All right. Back to the video. But what about the Quest Pro? I generally don't recommend this headset, although I do love it. But I do recommend these controllers. These are the Pro controllers and they have cameras built in the controllers to help with the tracking location. They come standard with the Quest Pro, but you can buy them separately so you can use it with the Quest 2 or the Quest 3. And we'll test it out later. Before the Quest 3 came out, the Quest Pro was my daily driver. I found it really comfortable, I was enjoying the pancake lenses, and with the full color pass through, it opened up a whole bunch of new games. But now now the Quest 3 is out, the cost of the Quest Pro is just way too expensive and the only real advantage it gives you is eye tracking and not really any games use that. But how does it compare for Beat Saber? These results were pretty decent, and I was able to achieve a new top score of 882-898. I also really enjoy playing with the Pro controllers. I find them quite light while being sturdy, and they also have this nice grip texture on them, which I really like. Now for the most important test. How does the Quest 3 run with Beat Saber? The Quest 3 controllers are different again in that it uses inside-out tracking. The Quest 3 also has new tech that uses AI to track the controllers and your hands at the same time for supposedly better tracking. But does it work? 
I clearly scored lower on the quest three than I did on the quest pro. But there could be a number of factors. Like maybe I was getting tired and hangry or maybe the pro controllers were the cause. So I needed to put that theory to the test and test the pro controllers with the quest three. So it was day two of the experiment and I approached the task with brand new energy. So I synced up the pro controllers with the Quest 3 and I will mention I have found a bug. There's this weird bug whenever you sync a new controller with the Quest 3, the haptics become really bad, like they just don't work half of the time. I don't know if anyone else has found it, but it keeps happening to me. I found I was able to fix it by unpairing and repairing the controller, but just a heads up if you were thinking of doing the setup. But using the pro controllers with the Quest 3, I was able to get some pretty decent scores. I couldn't beat my top score that I got with the Quest Pro, but I found the scores pretty consistent and the tracking was working great. But it did make me wonder, how would the Pro controllers work on the Quest 2? So I synced up the Pro controllers with the Quest 2 and the results were shocking. I was able to get a brand new high score of 891.942, which was way above anything else I got on any other headset. And I couldn't understand how I could be getting such a high score on a headset that's three years old. This went against everything I've always thought. Then I thought, hang on a minute, it's a new day, there's a new variable in place, let's try the Quest 3 again. And the results? I was able to achieve top scores consistently. I then tried replicating those scores using the Pro Controllers on the Quest 2 and the Quest 3 and I just couldn't do it. I struggled to believe it was the truth, but then I broke the rules of science. I let my emotions get involved. I struggled to believe that the Quest 3 could beat my shiny new Steam VR headset that has a powerful gaming PC at the helm and lighthouse tracking. So I spent hours and hours trying to beat my top score on the big screen beyond and I just couldn't do it. I tried. I tried so hard. I, I just couldn't beat my Quest 3 score. I couldn't even get close. And to be honest, I don't know what was going on. I really did struggle to believe the data, but there may be a couple of reasons why. For years, I believed that a Steam VR headset with lighthouse tracking was the superior option for Beat Saber. But now, I'm not too sure. And now look, there are plenty of variables in this situation. For starters, I was playing Beat Saber for hours and hours on end and I was getting pretty exhausted. Or maybe my PC or lighthouse trackers weren't optimized for the setup, I don't know. But ultimately, I think controller weight is probably a big factor on the score difference. Like after playing on the different headsets all day, you definitely feel a big weight difference in the valve index controller. I could definitely feel more strain on my wrist using an index controller over say the Pro or the Quest 3 controller. If I put on my conspiracy hat for a moment, what if Meta have secretly made the tracking more forgivable on their own headset? To say an inaccurate slice on the Quest 3 might score differently than to the Valve Index. Or maybe just because the lighthouse tracking is more accurate that it scores you more harshly. But ultimately, based on these results, I don't think there's a particular best VR headset for Beat Saber. I think your play style and what you're used to and find comfortable is always going to be the best headset for you. And whatever headset fits in your price range as well. In saying that though, my preference is probably the Quest 3 or say the Quest 2 with the Pro Controller. I think I'll definitely start using my Quest 3 a bit more for playing Beat Saber, now seeing the data and how different it is compared to my lighthouse gaming setup. But in saying that, I do love my big screen beyond it's way comfier, way better resolution, way easier to set up. So even though I may have the data to show that I score better in the Quest 3, I'll probably still use this because I love it. So at the end of the day, I may just end up sticking with this. But I hope you found this video helpful. Obviously, all these scores and everything I've done in this video is unique to me and my setup and my experience and my gameplay style. And I'm in no way like a high score player. Like I always focus on just having fun with the game. But in saying that, I think there is still a lot to learn from comparing the different headsets and I thought that may be helpful to some of you so hopefully you found this video helpful and hopefully I've contributed with my Beat Saber science and as per usual if you're still watching at the end of this video make sure to write banana in the comments so I know you're the real VIP and I'll see you next time bye